It's considered one of the engineering wonders of the modern world. An engineering wonder that still is operating. The canal relies on a man-made lake paired with a series of locks, also known as gigantic water elevators. Both oceans are front of the same level and they are separated by the mountains. Instead of digging all the way at sea level at the mountain area, American engineers create lakes on top of the mountains. Right now you're looking at the Pacific Ocean. That's at the southeast. And if we turn to the northwest, the Atlantic Ocean is just about 50 miles in that direction. You can see this boat behind me. It was raised up 85 feet to the man-made lakes. Once it travels through the canal, it'll be dropped another 85 feet to arrive back down at the ocean. This shortcut shaves off 8,000 miles and means big savings for businesses like the Rogers Family Company out of Placer County, where they bring in coffee beans from around the world through the canal. It's about $800 a container. $800 less per container than other ports on the Pacific, or about 10 cents savings a pound, and those savings get passed on to the customer. Well, they're going to see a much lower price from freight coming out of here. If the canal wasn't here, certainly you'd see 20 or 30 cents more a pound in coffee. But as time goes on, ships have gotten bigger, and the canal's locks, as you can see, are only so accommodating. Nowadays, we're working on a new lock close to the present one that will be larger, wider, and deeper so we can handle the vessels of the future. Once completed, bigger ships will still use the canal, but they'll be guided into the larger locks to move to the other side. To help preserve the history of the Panama Canal, there's a museum inside the visitor center. You can even see what it's like to captain a ship going through from one side to the next. The canal is charming because of her history. It has to do with the lives of thousands of people that came from 94 countries under the leadership of the United States.